I'm attorney Alexis Johnson of AFJ Law Group, a Metro Detroit business litigation firm specializing in all things business and real estate. If you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can continue to receive videos like this one. This video is going to talk all about real estate, which is a big part of my practice. Now, I'm a real estate lawyer who also has a real estate salesperson's license. So I work with clients as well as brokerages and sales agents, and I notice that a lot of the same questions get asked. So I wanted to make a video addressing some of those commonly asked questions. And that's what this video will talk about today. But if you have other questions, please reach out to me, afjlawgroup.com, or you can call or text 248-266-2135. Now let's get into it. The right lawyer makes the difference. AFJ Law Group. One of the main questions that I'm asked is, do I need a real estate lawyer or sales agent for my real estate transaction? The answer is no. There's no law that requires that you work with a lawyer or a sales agent for buying, selling, or leasing property. But as an attorney, I'd advise that you do because real estate is transactionally based, which means contracts, and contracts are prepared by lawyers. So if you have the wrong contract, or if you don't understand what you're signing, you could lose your rights to the property, to ownership, to occupancy, or to transferring those rights at a later time. And you also could face liability that you might not be aware of. So at a minimum, I'd recommend working with a reputable brokerage. One of the benefits of my practice is that I have a law license as well as a salesperson's license. So I understand a lot of the components that a sales agent does. Things like getting comps for your residential property or figuring out the return on investment for a commercial investment property or different financing options that may be available. And so it's important that you work with a brokerage that has a close relationship with an attorney or an attorney that has similar expertise so that they can assist you on both sides of the transaction. Another question that I get predominantly from those looking at residential property is why do I need to have a real estate attorney look at my contract when it's just going to be a take it or leave it situation? Well, I would argue that that is not necessarily the case anymore. The COVID era has really shifted the real estate market. And in the last year alone, we've seen buyers and sellers make concessions that they wouldn't ordinarily because the market is so crazy hot and everyone wants to get their property sold or they want to get into a property. My point with that is don't assume that things aren't negotiable because for the most part, many of them are. And there are certainly going to be situations where you do have a take it or leave it situation, but it's still helpful to have an attorney go over a contract with you so that you can understand the expectations on all ends as well as the penalties for if things don't happen the way they're supposed to. The question that I'm frequently asked is how real estate attorneys charge. And I wish I could just give you a straight answer, but I gotta give you the lawyerly one. It depends. There's so many complexities in the real estate transaction process, whether it's on the commercial or residential side that it would be impossible for me to tie a bow on it and present it to you as a package deal. For the most part, real estate attorneys charge an hourly rate, but sometimes a flat fee can be appropriate. Now, for a flat fee, it's going to typically be things like you asking an attorney to review a contract that you're going to sign, or you asking an attorney to prepare a demand letter, asking a party to do something, whether or not they breached a contract, or there's just some delay on their end and you don't want to necessarily file a lawsuit, but you want action taken. Other times, you really have to consider your case and circumstances. So for example, if you are a commercial real estate investor who is planning on purchasing several commercial properties in the next year, it may be worth it for you to have a real estate lawyer on retainer. Someone that's going to have personal knowledge and understanding of you and your business as well as be able to evaluate and review your agreements while you're going through the process and answer all your phone calls with your questions. It just depends on what works best for you. And the main advice I can give is working with an attorney who understands the type of relationship you want to create so that you feel understood and informed. The last 
thing I want to touch on isn't so much a question, but more a misconception that I notice that people believe, especially in the commercial context. And that is that only the buyers benefit from working with a real estate lawyer. Now it's true that working with a real estate lawyer as a buyer allows you to understand the different processes associated with purchasing buildings like an apartment complex or an industrial building or a historic home or something unique like that. But it also can be helpful to work with a real estate lawyer if you are selling a commercial property because real estate lawyers can help make your property be more marketable, especially if there are limiting factors, things like structural issues, zoning issues, or liens on the title. So if you're in the commercial context, you should definitely consider working with a lawyer no matter what side of the transaction that you're on. But even in the residential, at the very least, you should again be working with a reputable brokerage. So if you have other questions, please reach out to my team. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.